covered the use of the scout belt and the ranger belt patterns. Now for the money belt. The money belt was created to carry coins, script, and even gold dust secured inside the sewn leather tube of the money belt. After the invention of metallic cartridges, bullets were often carried in cartridge loops sewn onto money belts. The billet passed through a slot in the open end of the belt to keep coins and script from working their way out. If gold dust was stored in the money belt, often a hanky was stuffed in the end to keep the gold dust from drifting out. I can't think of a more secure way to carry currency than inside a cartridge belt with a big old hog leg dangling from it. Like the ranger belt patterns, the length of the money belt blank doesn't change with the different size buckles. This oval California buckle is a B-size buckle. The shape that holds the buckle will be riveted into the B-shape rivet hole transferred from the pattern to the damp belt blank. The two and a half inch El Dorado money belt pattern adds five and a quarter inches to the waist measurement. So an El Dorado money belt blank for a 40 inch waist is cut 45 and a quarter inches long for the center hole to buckle at 40 inches. For this project, the belt blank is marked at 45 and a quarter inches. In this case, I'm transferring the shape end of the El Dorado pattern to the damp belt blank first, transferring the B shape rivet hole to the leather. Most of the time, I only transfer the billet slot from the front slot of the belt and not the back. Then, when the belt is sewn together, I punch out the rear billet slot through the front billet slot to ensure they line up perfectly. Then I move to the billet end of the belt blank and transfer the billet end of the pattern to the damp leather. To get the best fold in the money belt, dampen the leather slightly front and back. Then roll it up and wrap it in plastic so the moisture can work its way through the leather. This is called casing the leather. After about an hour, the leather is ready to take a good fold. Carefully fold the belt blank over and align the edges perfectly, one small section at a time. With a smooth stainless steel hammer, tap each section firmly and evenly without leaving hammer marks. Work your way down the belt being careful to always keep the edges of the belt aligned. Making sure to keep the edges of the belt aligned, run a stitching groover about an eighth inch in from the edge. Groove the edge of the belt to be sewn and the billet end of the money belt. While the leather is still damp, I use a six hole per inch overstitch wheel to mark my stitch spacing. On this project, I decided to punch out the billet slot on the back side of the money belt after the decorative stamping and before I'd sewn it. While this video isn't of the El Dorado money belt project, it does show how the stitching holes are laid out on a cartridge belt. The cartridge belt pattern is laid out for standard loop spacing on the belt with guidelines indicating the top and bottom of both 2.5 inch belts and 3 inch belts. On the Ranger Belt project shown, I wanted the cartridge loops in one quarter of an inch from the top of the belt, so I adjusted it accordingly. While only 10 loops are laid out on the pattern, they can be linked end to end for the number of loops required for your project. Sewing cartridge loops will be shown in the next tutorial section, but before the edges of the money belt can be sewn together, everything else on the money belt must be assembled. The cartridge loops must be sewn and the shape and billet riveted and sewn on. Then the edges of the money belt can be sewn together. Since the 4 or 5 ounce leather used for the money belt is lightweight, I wait until the edges are sewn to edge the leather. Then I dress it with gum tragacanth and burnishing. 
After the edges of the money belt have been dressed, the keeper can be riveted on. The keeper is optional, but many customers prefer it. The double capped rivets are inserted through the front of the belt from inside the money belt. With the belt on a hard smooth surface, the rivets can be set without marring the back of the money belt.